Hello again, my name is Gerhard Ochsenfeld. Today I want to review another extraordinary lens for you. It is a low price Canon lens. It is built in Malaysia. It is the EFS 24mm pancake. It does not matter if you put a lens on an entry level body or a camera that addresses ambitioned and professional photographers. There are differences in comfort or possibilities differences in advantages or abilities. However, what you get depends on the sensor and on the lens. This lens does not really impress you neither when holding in your hand nor when mounted on any camera body. So let me explain and let me show you why it is worthwhile to think about this lens whether you paid $150 for your camera body or perhaps even $1,500. And just believe me I know that it is something like blasphemy to mount this lens of $150 or Euro or £125 sterling on a body by far more expensive and by far more ambitious. What you see is a piece that might be good to imitate so much or so little as an old and historical pinhole camera with a modern DSLR. Then, however, you find a switch for an autofocus and you find a white mark that signs the EFS lenses specially tuned for APS-C sensors only. Ah, you don't need those electronic contacts if it was really only a pinhole. Okay, enough words, only good for advertising. I did test the sharpness at even a low price. I did not leave my home but simply placed the tripod on my desk and lined up the camera outside my window. I choose an open aperture of 2.8. The two vertical lines show the convex distortion. The distortion is not strong and can easily be corrected in post-production. For this lens there are no preferences offered in Photoshop, but that does not really matter. The sharpness of this lens is not really great, but acceptable. So next I choose the garden fence as marked with a green circle and did pan the camera to the corners so that the fence was each left top, left bottom, right top and right bottom in the marked areas. Even the turn to the corner right bottom is extreme. Nevertheless, the EFS 24mm holds the not so very well sharpness at its level. Now I had to draw comparisons, so I took my EFS 15 to 85 mm. That is a real not cheap lens. At a focal length of 24 mm, this zoom lens offers an aperture of 4.0. That is not similar to the 24 mm pancake, but enough to compare strong or weak points. The zoom lens is clearly better in the mid area, but fails miserably in the corners. Then I did want to know if the 24mm pancake was only weak at an open aperture, but a series of tests with f2.8, f4.0, f5.6 and f8 does not offer differences. The lens is not really sharp, offers acceptable results of sharpness and a low pronounces of chromatic aberrations, and it does convince with constant results at any relevant aperture. I did not use the lens with apertures higher than or more close than 11. Next I was interested in what sharpness might be in comparison with other fixed focus lenses. I choose the EF 35mm f2.0 IS USM and the EF 50mm f1.4 USM for testing infinity sharpness. The woods at the horizon line are at a distance of more than two kilometers, by far enough for this focal length to assume as infinity. The 35 mm proves its persuasive power as standard focal length for an APS-C camera. I do not argue with an aperture of 2.0. In another video I will tell you why. Exposed with this EF 35 mm 
you find at the right side the twigs of the trees in a distance of around 400 meters very sharp and well in contrast. The horizon is sharp and clear. The 50mm f1.4 is not the cheapest standard lens, but not really better than the low budget pancake lens. We need to consider that the EF 50mm f1.4 is double the focal length and half the scale. By the way, for any of these three lenses, I eased this test simply with an aperture of 4.0. I am interested in the 24mm as portrait lens for some special uses as well, while offering an equivalent of nearly 40mm to full frame. So I did test a medium range of 2 meters for the 24mm pancake and an appropriate distance with other focal lengths to reach a comparable scale. This comparison shows 100% cutouts at 1920 to 1080 pixel. I find the EF 35mm great again. The EF S 60mm macro a really exciting macro lens at a distance of 5 meters does its job not as well as a 35mm lens but still very good. I was really surprised to find the poor pancake lens clearly better in sharpness and contrast than the standard lens EF 50mm f1.4. Further on, let me show you what the EF S 24mm f2.8 STM is good for. When I took photos in the bio bakery of Enrique Rosales in Felbert Langenberg, I found the room too small to use the EF 35mm to portray him and his female baker at work. While I knew the physical conditions, I was not surprised and immediately changed to the pancake lens. That is what I mean if I say that the equivalent of nearly 40mm may be an ideal focal length for portraiture. If you do not take close-ups from the head, the distortion of that short focal length does not blow up the proportions. With its closest focusing distance of 16cm or the half of a foot you can take in some nice snapshots or any photographs of a dynamic impression. So let me show you this as well as an example of still life or product photography. Sharpness is good enough for most users. This 100% cutout shows the ability of this lens even at an aperture of f2.8. The chromatic aberrations are easily corrected in post-production. The EFS 24mm pancake is a modest lens on an entry-level body and a shaming or astonishing lens on an expensive body. So or so it does surprise with even good results. So whenever you are on the way and whenever you find a little gap to place any naked camera, put the 24mm pancake on it and do not ever miss a good advantage. While Dustin Abbott may be right to say, in fact some people will use them instead of the camera's cap, it's really scarily bigger than what the cap itself is. So I say, never miss a camera. This pancake lens is the way to do it. I want to show you two further results of using the surprising pancake lens. For example, this more or less nice site on a little town and 100% cutouts again to show the ability of this lens. The results are not of possibly highest quality, but at home it is enough for a post of 50 to 75 centimeters, and with some tricks in post production, the professional can risk a magazine print. At the end, let me show you what you can get if you are on a walk in a modern town. This is the result after image editing, and this is the raw material. And if I say raw, I mean raw. While I only and always take my photos in raw format to take along the most possible scope of information. Raw format is simply the best basis for the later image editing. 
I set some colored lines into a black and white conversion to show the distortion and the converging lines. The distortion corrected with nine units in Photoshop. I at last did not correct the verticals completely to parallelity, while this does not comfort the natural and familiar impression. As you can see here, taken with the Samyang 10mm f2.8 at a completely leveled camera position, you are lightly irritated by the clean vertical lines. The higher the building, the more you are not familiar with the vertical lines at 100%. Really ending now, I want to show some 100% outcuts from the edited city photography. The 24mm pancake is really not razor sharp, but good enough for most users and by far better than using a compact camera or a so-called bridge camera. The sensors of these cameras are too little with a 5.5th of a full frame and a resolution of, for example, 12 or 15 megapixels. On the other hand, the lenses do not offer the necessary resolution to enable photographic results of sharpness and good contrast. You can't really recover that in post-production. So you now know what my summary is. The EF S 24mm f2.8 STM is a cheap lens that no one should miss for his APS-C camera. By far underrated, this lens is better than standard zoom lenses are. It is better than some standard fixed focus lenses used to be. It is taken along without being a burden on you. So the question is only which body you like to take along. The results of this lens are good enough to create very satisfying pictures by image editing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your interest.